This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV and Association MTK Global via Zoom. I'm joined by Ty Mitchell. Um, of course, you've got your fight coming up on the 5th of September in Manchester. We'll talk about that in a second, Ty, and uh, about that show, etc. But yeah, last night, uh, your good friend Dylan White, um, just a shocker, really, because as we were just talking about now, he was controlling the fight, um, obviously dropped Povetkin twice uh, in the fourth. Look like he might finish him off, and then Povetkin pulls out one of the best knockouts of the year, if not the best. Yeah, uh, it's to be honest with you, it's caught me deep, man. This one's like it's. I feel like I've lost the fight. Like it's been on my mind all night, all day. Like I really do feel sorry for him. Do you know what I mean? Deep in my heart, um, just risk after risk. He kept taking big fight after big fight, and one shot changed it. Do you know what I mean? Um, he was definitely winning the fight, he, he, and he and he looked. He was in good shape. He was mentally um, in a good place, physically in a good place, um, and he was winning the fight. He was just coasting it, and then it's just heavyweight boxing. You can be. It's not the thing is with heavyweight boxing. It's not all about who's the best boxer. It's just that one. Whoever lands that one shot clean first, you know what I mean. That's that's why they get paid so much. That's why you know what I mean. The heavyweights are the are, are the giants of the division because one shot. And you know, I mean, that could be all she wrote, and it can be game over. It's a sad, it's, it's, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad, but he'll definitely come back stronger. I mean, look what he did after his last loss. Look at the absolute progression he made after his last loss. Is the fire he is now compared to when he took his loss against AJ, he just completely rebuilt himself. And he's, he's been through worse things than this in his life, do you know what I mean? So he's gonna, gonna come back stronger. He's a warrior, man, and he'll come back, he'll come back from a career perspective, though, of course. Everyone's uh, been talking about the thousand days, etc. It's been well documented uh, how frustrating it has been to get a title shot. Um, and obviously now this is going to delay it even further because they're going to have their rematch. But then I'm sure the situation with the WBC was going to it's going to extend until yeah. he's uh, mandated, basically ordered to fight whoever's got that belt. Um, so from that point, obviously it's it's taken a hit in terms of the career perspective. Yeah, I think that's the I think I think that's the biggest blow because he's got a rematch clause that should happen by the end of the year, and I, and, he, and he should win the rematch. You know what I mean? It was not like he was getting battered; he was clearly winning the fight, but it was just a good shot, perfectly timed. Um, so I think he will get the rematch, but but that's that's the, I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest downfall of this is how long is it really going to take him to get his title shot now? Do you know what I mean? Because obviously. He doesn't stand there more. That 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 position doesn't stand it at, at the minute, and he definitely he definitely won't be for February next year. Now, do you know what I mean? So that's probably the saddest thing of the timing and things like that. But luckily, he's a heavyweight, he, so they normally last longer in the sport, and he lives a clean, healthy lifestyle. He doesn't go out, he doesn't rave, he doesn't. Do you know what I mean? He lives a clean lifestyle. So I think he's got a, he'll have good longevity in him. But I think that's yeah, that's definitely the biggest blow of the timeline. But any on any with, with with most of the heavyweights on their day they can all they can all knock each other out they could all box each other ten times and get ten different results do you know what i mean it's it's just one of them things where the very um the very i feel like the, i feel like a lot of the heavyweights stylistically anybody can it can just be anybody's day do you know what i mean um saying that though uh you know obviously it's it's gonna affect him you know the title shot is gonna be delayed even more but now there is just nothing else than beating Povetkin now in that rematch. Otherwise, because if you yeah. don't do that, then then you're in even more trouble, seriously, for your career. So now the focus yeah. is beating Povetkin. Yeah, definitely. If it, 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 I think taking a loss in boxing, I think Floyd Mayweather put a huge emphasis on being undefeated. But if you're going to... if Listen, look at Marvin Hagler, Hearns, Duran... These kind of fighters, they're going to take losses because the best are fighting the best repeatedly. So you're never going to keep your O. It's going to be nigh on impossible to keep your O when you're just fighting the best, fight after fight. May, um, Muhammad Ali, um, all them lot. Um, they've all boxed each other and they've beat him, he's beat him back. Larry Ames has beat him, Foreman, you know what I mean, Fraser. You're not going to stay undefeated when the best keep fighting the best. And... The thing is with Dylan, he consistently took challenges that he didn't need to take because he want, it's about legacy. It's not just about winning. He could have boxed a load of divs and waited for his shot, but it's about legacy and he wants to be known as someone that fought the best and didn't hide from nobody. Um, 
and didn't wait for them to be over the hill or whatever because we've seen from Povetkin's last fight, he was far from over the hill. He had an absolute war with uh, Michael Hunter. So I think is it will. I think this this loss hasn't done no damage, but I think it could do damage to career if he lost again. I mean, two lo- two losses on the bounce. And listen, Povetkin's a dangerous fighter. It's not a foregone conclusion that he's going to win the rematch just because he was winning that fight and got caught with a shot. Do you know what I mean? He could get caught with another shot in the next fight. So it's it's still a very very dangerous fight. But God willing, it'll come through and prevail and right his wrong. Look, when AJ lost, everybody wrote him off his comeback. Avenged his loss, and now when he talks about his loss anymore, really, do they? He's still he's, a lot of people still class him as number one in the world. You know what I mean? Just a word on Povetkin as well. Obviously, uh, getting dropped twice, recovering from that mentally and physically, and then obviously putting Dylan out. Uh, massive uh, credit to him, especially at his age. Yeah, massive credit to him. But on the other side to it, the shots that Dylan dropped him with was not big shots. Did you notice that it wasn't? There wasn't big shots. If Dylan caught him properly, yeah. If he was dropping from them kind of shots, like there was clean shots, but there wasn't. There were just arm shots. If Dylan caught him with one of like, like some with some muscle with the shot he caught Chisor with, or the shot he um, dropped um, Parker with, I think Povetkin would have been out. But he was just like quick shots. I don't even think that. I think Dylan was kind of surprised he dropped from him. Are you surprised um, Dylan didn't jump on him more, Ty? Yeah, I am. The thing is with Dylan, what I saw was. He when he boxed when he boxed Joshua he was too wild he was a lunatic he just went in there had a fight he had no no chill no do you know what I mean he didn't he, he, he didn't he wasn't he was just too mentally and emotionally involved in there and just went in there and had a fight now I think he's gone a bit too far the other way I think he's too tame and I think one of one of his best attributes is that is a nutter but I think he needs to be a controlled nutter do you know what I mean I think. His boxing abilities come out is definitely without question the best, most improved heavyweight in the last few years by far. Every time he fights, even till last night, he was one of the best fights he boxed. Apart from I just thought he was a slight bit too tame. But you've also got to understand is Povetkin is a very dangerous fighter, and when you go for him, that's when he's most dangerous. So I I, I feel that Dylan would have looked at him and thought, "You hurt, but you're not gone. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna break you down some more before I take you out." But still, I think. Do you know what I think? Do you know what I think his, his biggest problem was last night? He was too relaxed. He was just too relaxed. He was too. He was too calm and too confident, and too. He, he was winning the fight, and he just was too relaxed. And I think that lack of concentration, why being so relaxed, is just what is just what cost him. It's just one second. I think he needs to be a bit more edgy and a bit more alert, and and have a bit more fear. Like cool, like non-stop, twenty-four-seven. Watch, watch what everything's doing because it just seemed like for that split second, it was a bit too relaxed. Let's quickly uh, mention September 5th um, out in Manchester. Just uh, tell me uh, about the fight. And also, there might be someone special uh, walking you out, Ty. You broke up, sorry. No, I was just Oh, saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah I got it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm fine on September the 5th at O2 Victoria on um, Tough Sports. Um, I'll send you the link if you can put it in the description where you can stream it. Um, I don't know if you can do that. If you can, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just put in discount code Mitchell when you buy it, and if you get and if you do it like before the fight, you'll get it. You can end up streaming it. It costs like I think like six pound or something. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a prize fighter. There's um, a lot of unbeaten kids. A lot of people think that they're gonna knock me out, and a lot of people think that they're gonna knock each other out. And there's there's, there's quite a few hundred, there's, there's people that have had like seventy fights. Some people that have sixteen and 0, 15 and 0, 8 and 0, So. Everybody's coming for it. It'll be my first fight back down at Super Middleweight 12 Stone, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and it should be a really good fight, really good fight, a really good night. And it's um, definitely going to be value for money. Obviously, we can't have crowds. That's the only reason we're, but it's going to be on stream pay-per-view or whatever. But, um, yeah, Tyson's coming. He's walking me out. So I'm looking forward to that. Big man's going to be in the building. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, to the night, man. Yeah, I appreciate your support. And there's, um, so there's going to be a lot of stuff on the show that you won't be expecting. Some um, some good stuff. So if you can get tuned in, I appreciate your support and um, looking forward to my comeback in the pro ranks very soon. Okay, yeah, send me the link. I'll get it in the description and also uh, we'll speak about uh, me coming up uh, to the fight night itself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll appreciate it. And when you put in the discount code Mitchell, make sure it's in capitals. Or it won't work. I forgot to say All that. All right, so well, best of luck in preparation for the fifth and uh, hopefully see you on the fifth uh, after you're victorious. All right. Okay, perfect. Top man. See you soon.